so dear students of class 6 we are going to start with the second part of this video for the first unit about its investigations what are given in your first unit there are five different investigations given in first unit like this i want to show you with the help of book this is investigation 2.2 2, then investigation 2.3 these all investigations are very important to understand it also comes in examination then investigation 2.4 2.5 and then 2.6 now let me explain you all these investigations one by one so this is the investigation 2.2 which is given here that this this is the coin how to find out the thickness of coin so what we do to find to thickness of one coin which is not just to find out the thickness of one coin it is not easy so what we will do we will take bundles of coins suppose the 10 coins are been taken on this scale and then we will find out the width of this 10 coins from this point to this point and then we will divide it by 10 whatever the quantity is going to come that is going to give the thickness of coin so in this investigation it is given with 20 coins now next investigation is 2.3 which is going to tell you about how to find out the thickness of thread this one thread so to find out the thickness of one thread what is being done that one thread has been taken and then it is rolled around this pencil like this this is rolled around this pencil then it is kept on the scale then the length has been measured from this part of the thread to this part of the thread and then it is divided by number of turns suppose there are so many numbers of turns now suppose in your book the example is given there are 30 number of turns and the length of this scale here is one in this thread comes between this to this point is 1.5 they have divided they got this 0.5 mm as thickness of this thread and then this investigation 2.4 under this investigation what is being explained that how to find out the length of this curved line this is the curved line how to find out the length of this curved line so what we do to find out the length of this curved line we take one thread and we will keep it just above this curved line and then we will take out the thread and we will extend it in a meter scale and we can able to find out the length of this curved line then next is this investigation 2.5 how to find out the length of this curved surface area of this wooden cylinder we will again take a thread we will tie it around it and then again we will extend it between the scale between this one point to this point and then we will measure this length from a to b and we can able to find out the length of this curved surface area length of this curved surface area so next investigation is how to find out the thickness of this ball this is the ball given here how to find out the thickness of this ball so what we do to find out the thickness of this ball we use to take the two wooden plank and we will hold the ball in between these two wooden plank and then again we will measure the length between this point from this point to this point and this is going to give us the diameter to what it is called as diameter of this ball or thickness of this ball so these are all the investigations explanation thank you